Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Wine. Welcome back to art class. This is part two of the op art video for the hands project. So if you're doing the hands for op art, this is the video you should be watching. And since this is part two, the first thing you're going to need to make sure you have is you're going to make sure that you have your paper from last week where we traced the hand and we drew the lines that went across and then up and over the fingers. The only materials you're going to need this week are a Sharpie marker and a ruler. So let's get started. Now this week is really pretty simple. All I want to do is trace the lines that are horizontal on the paper or the lines that curve over the fingers. I am not going to trace the lines with the hand. So I'm not gonna trace the pencil line that outlines the hand. So what I like to do is I like to put my ruler in place. I'm gonna spread out my fingers and hold it down very steady. And then I'm just gonna trace. I'm gonna trace across. Then when I get to the part where it curves up and around, I'm gonna curve that line up and around, back down and across. So I've already drawn those lines last week. This week is pretty simple. I'm just tracing. So again, the line's gonna go across until I get to the part where it bumps over the finger. I'm gonna bump it over, straight across, bump it over the finger, straight across, bump it over the finger, and all the way straight across. And I just keep going until everything is traced. Straight across, bump up and over, across, up and over, across, up and over, and across until I get to the edge. When you're all the way finished, all of these horizontal lines will be traced on your paper. And I just keep going. So it's very important that you make sure you save this paper until next week. You will know that you are finished because all of the lines that go over the fingers and over the hand will be completely traced. Remember, you are not going back and you are not going to outline the hand. Just take your time, line up that ruler with the line you drew last week. And because we started with the small lines, it actually gets a little easier as we go down the page. You want to make sure you have an eraser on your pencil because any place that you sort of get off of that pencil line, it's probably a good idea if we go back and erase that. I just barely missed the pencil line there, so I want to come back and make sure I get that erased. Almost done to the bottom. And that's it. So, when you're finished tracing, I want you to keep your hand in your portfolio. Next week, we will be ready to add some color and until then, I hope you have a wonderful week and keep on creating.